Hey everyone, this is the Night Phoenix, and you're watching part 52 of my Wizard 101 playthrough. Okay, so for this part, I'll be locating the Mander History. It has been a while since someone has challenged us. It will be a pity to defeat you so quickly. Prepare for battle, Wizard. Okay, so like I said, I'll be finding the Mander History and completing the library quest, and then going into a hedge quest. But first, I need to battle the, uh... Flame Guardian. He knows quite a few different types of spells. Strongest would probably be Locust Swarm, and he does know Balance Blade. His minion is a Flame Servant, but that's not all that powerful. Uh, the interesting thing about the Flame Guardian would be that he's a Balance type when you would think he would be Fire. Another interesting fact is he used to be the Soul Scavenger, which is now located well, it was always located in the Krakos Sphinx, but could also be found here until it was changed a year or so ago. So I'll start off by defeating his Flame Servant with a combo of Locust Swarm and a Clash. And the Guardian will attack me with the Scorpion. Now the Guardian isn't a boss. It can be found in the Palace of Fire after you complete both the uh, Royal Hall and the Chamber of Fire. And the Flame Servant can be found in the Chamber of Fire. So, next I'll just simply use the Evil Snowman to uh, kill him. And. He wasn't really all that tough. Okay, so that was the end of the Flames Guardian. Now I have to go and read the Mander history and then take it to Zanae. Pick up the book containing the Mander race's long lost history. History of the Mander race. For thousands of years, the Mander race lived in harmony and peace. Then one day, a piece of floating earth showed up near the oasis. This piece of floating earth contained crocs, who were tired and hungry from their trek. They were fed and their needs attended, but soon they began to take advantage of the Mander's hospitality. Soon they began to unleash their powers and cruelty upon the Manders. And from then on, the Mander race has lived under the tyrannical rule of the crocs. The Manders believe that one day, a person of great power will come and throw off the shackles of the crocs. The Manders will once more live free. Okay, so now I can teleport back to the Oasis and hand in the Mander history to Zane. First I needed to collect a few wisps after the short battle. So now I'll head into the library and hand in the book. Okay, so that was the last of the library quests until I finish the Pyramid of the Sun. So now I'll move on to the final side quest from Hetch. So I'm going to end my commentary here, since all that's in his quest is traveling and my commentary doesn't make it any less boring. So uh, I'll see you in part 53. Manders, let me check for you. 
Ah, that book is on loan to the Wizard City Library. You will have to go there to get it. I believe we may have that book. Just a moment while I look. There's a note here that says somebody previously checked that book out and lost it in some crates in the excavation site. If you go to Crocotopia, could you look around the excavation site and find the book? Once you find the book, you should take it to the Crocotopia library and return it. I just heard that the book was lost, and you seem to have found it. How wonderful! Okay, you are all set. You can now take the book to Hechaldim. Tell him to return it when he is done. should help take care of that. I hope it's as good as I've heard. Wow. 